dubbed the Noah's Ark, the animals travelled hundreds of kilometres to their new home, a sprawling farm where they can live out the rest of their lives. The Karoo Donkey Sanctuary was established in 2015, with hundreds of donkeys rescued from the slaughterhouse by animal activist John O'Sherwin. Soon, the sanctuary started growing with other rescued animals. After years of searching for a permanent home, they finally found their promised land in Prince Albert. We were always in love with Prince Albert, but unfortunately during the drought it was just not viable to stay in the area. So we relocated across here, but we are so excited to be moving back into uh, Prince Albert, into the Prince Albert Valley. Um, this time we're moving on to an irrigation farm with 40 hectares under irrigation, ample water, great levata. Um, super exciting, super exciting. Along with the animals, their carers have also relocated to make sure their beloved animals are protected at all times. I love the animals because the animals, they are more, uh, can I say, they are more keen than the people because they don't complain and always they understand everything. I can say that uh, I have the favorite, but I'm, as I say that I'm an animal lover, then which means I love all the animals. But I can say like the donkey, I love them more and they are very, uh, I'm very comfortable about like, the way they have like the cross on the backy and uh, I gonna say that that cross because they're saying Jesus sit on the donkey then that's why they've got the cross on the backy. Sherwin has been outspoken about the illegal donkey trade especially with the brutal butchering of these soft natured animals for their skins. Like rhino horn, their skin is incorrectly believed to contain medicinal properties creating an illegal market and threatening the species. There's a huge um, drive on their skins to China, and this is really why I do what I do. Um, global population of donkeys is estimated at being about 44 million. Um, at the moment, China is going through between 8 and 10 million skins a year. So they've exhausted supply in their own country, and they're now coming predominantly to Africa, which has the largest uh, population of donkeys in terms of continent. Um, so this is really my motivation behind why I'm trying to raise awareness as to why donkeys are so incredible. I just want to point out, we are not vilifying the Chinese as a nation, but what they are doing to the endangered species is completely incorrect. The sanctuary has amassed a huge following from animal lovers at home and abroad. With the costs of the relocation and the sanctuary upkeep running into thousands of rands, the sanctuary is hoping to get a boost from generous donors. Plans are also in progress for public tours and horse riding trails. Segui Chetty, SABC News, Prince Albert in the Karoo.